Today we will try to know what is BizTalk and when to use BizTalk. BizTalk is Microsoft's integration and connectivity server solution. In plain and simple words, BizTalk connects diverse systems. Having said that, we would wonder if BizTalk really does the job of connecting systems. Let's forget BizTalk for some time and enter into a world in which we live and do business. An oil and gas company, practically a very huge organization, has several applications that support their business. One of the application is Asset Management application, which runs on Java. This application manages the asset data of this organization. As I said, this is oil and gas company. Definitely, there are machineries which generate oil and gas. As these machineries are owned by the company, these are the assets for this organization. Definitely, over a period of time, these machines will fail or they will wear and tear and they will need a replacement. So this particular application manages the assets data like the description of those machines, their working conditions, etc. Another application that this organization uses is the inventory application which is running on IBM mainframes. This application manages stocks of the items or the assets in the storerooms or the go-down. The storerooms or the go-down manages the extra stocks for any asset or items in it. So, for example, in future, in any time, an asset that is any machinery part needs a replacement, the people would like to go and check in the inventory application and check in the storerooms if the stock is already available for such an asset, such a machinery part. If yes, then they would like to pick it from the storerooms and do the replacement. So here you see a dependency between these two applications, the asset management and the inventory application. Let's talk about the purchasing application that this organization uses. This application runs on Unix and manages the purchase order request sent out to the vendors, the vendor information, the quotations, etc. That means anything that is involved in purchasing. So, in future, if any of the asset or a machinery part needs a replacement, the people would go and check in the inventory application to verify if the storerooms contain an extra stock of those assets. If yes, it, it would pick from there. But if not, then the person has to come to the purchasing application and raise a purchase order request for this asset. So now you see that these three applications are dependent on each other. Also, you notice that there is manual intervention in this process. Like if an asset needs to be replaced, person has to explicitly go and check in the inventory application if the stocks are already in place. And if the stocks are not there, he has to enter into the purchasing application and raise a purchase order for that particular asset. So the whole procedure is manual. How great it would be if we have an automated process. Like if an asset needs a replacement, an alert goes to the inventory application to check if the stocks are in place for that particular asset. If yes, the stocks are there, the inventory application gives a heads up to the asset management application saying yes, the stocks are already in place, you can pick one from the storerooms. And in case if it so happens that the stocks are not in place, the inventory application will send out the request to the purchasing application saying Please raise a purchase order for this particular asset. So what you notice, the whole process has been now automated. This would really drive the efficiency of my business. Yes, so definitely I would hunt for a product which would automate my business process. The other two applications that this organization uses is the Oracle Financial Accounting application and SAP Payroll application. Oracle Financial Accounting application manages the financial data. SAP Payroll application manages the employee data and the payroll details of that particular employee. Asset Management application, Inventory application, Purchasing application, Oracle Financial Accounting application, all these applications are somewhere dependent on the SAP Payroll application for the employee data information. For example, the employee name or employee designation. 
Also, the Oracle Financial Accounting application is dependent on the purchasing application for finding out the purchase orders done for the financial year, the amount spent, etc. If you look closely, all these applications in this organization are somewhere dependent on each other and at some point of time need data from each other. Also, this organization has diverse systems which are running on different technologies. One runs on Java, other on IBM mainframes, one on Unix, one on Oracle and the other on SAP. Definitely, I would want a product that automates, optimizes business processes and the data in real time. And which one product that is? Yes, that is Microsoft BizTalk Server. Microsoft BizTalk Server helps this organization in connecting these diverse systems which are running on different technologies. This example of connecting applications within a single organization is commonly referred as EAI Enterprise Application Integration. Just now we saw an example of connecting applications, connecting systems within an organization. What if tomorrow I want to connect to a system which is outside my organization? I want to collect data from a system which is outside my organization. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible using Microsoft BizTalk Server. In the previous example, we talked about purchasing application sending out purchase order request. BizTalk Server sends out this purchase order request to the supplier organization. In return, supplier organization sends out some responses back to the purchasing application. So what is BizTalk Server doing here? BizTalk Server is connecting two different applications from two different organizations. And this example of connecting businesses of two different organizations is commonly referred as B2B business to business integration. So now we understand what is BizTalk and when to use BizTalk.